can't even, I can't even, I, I'm, I'm really trying these videos and I'm struggling something fierce because I keep saying, um, 8,000 times. <gasps> All right, here we go. Take three. <laughs> I belong to a Facebook group and I'm laughing you guys because this really is take three. All right. I'm not going <laughs> to screw this up. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how hard YouTube videos are. You just don't even know. Treasure Books on YouTube did a tutorial and everybody in the challenge had to watch the same video and then we had to create something similar to the video. It was called a pocket mini journal which is what this is. It's tiny. And I used a digital kit here and there throughout my vintage pages from Junk Journal Inspirations on Etsy. And I used her Wings and Blossoms journal kit, which is awesome. And you should totally check it out. So this gets wrapped and it looks really pretty. <laughs> I'm not going to put it together again. And we're just going to go through this because, again, this is take, I don't even remember anymore, three or four. So I got this fun little butterfly at Hobby Lobby yesterday in their clearance section. You should totally check it out. I also got these amazing beads there, and those were also in their clearance section. So this is just some elastic. It has two signatures in it and it's super easy because I'm just using little bits and pieces of my vintage papers. So here are a couple of the pages that I'm going to show you. I'm not going to go through the every single page because to me that gets super boring when I'm watching an Etsy, I'm not an Etsy, a YouTube video. It gets really boring. So I'm just going to highlight some of the pages. This is part of the kit and I just fussy cut some of the butterflies. Again, it's tons of butterflies and flowers, which I absolutely love to add into my journals. Um, I also shrunk some of the pieces because obviously this is a really small journal and it needed some smaller pieces. This is one of the little pockets with a tag inside. Again, look at that beautiful little butterfly there. Really, really sweet. A little tuck spot. Again, I shrunk one of the journal cards and tucked it right in there. So the person that receives this will be able to add whatever she wants. A little fussy cut flower. This is really sweet. This is an envelope, again, part of the kit. And then inside of it, I just tucked a little piece of dictionary paper folded up. It's a very small dictionary, probably about the size of this, so it's really small. But that's really sweet. And then, oh, this butterfly actually came out. I made a little pocket for the butterfly. And she can add the butterfly, you know, put a photo here and then add the butterfly on top. I wanted this to be, you know, kind of loose and a way for the receiver to add what she wanted and what she liked in it for herself. This is just a little piece of lace that I created a pocket for and there's a little tag right there for her. Another tag with a little, look at that sweet sweet bumblebee it's adorable let's see what else did I add okay this guy and another I just fussy cut him I just put the glue around his wings and created this teeny tiny little pocket kind of fun fussy cut flowers look at how beautiful so so pretty Oh, this is actually part of her um, postcard kit also. It's just a stamp and I cut it up. 
and another little tag right here very pretty I'm just gonna tuck that in there for now so oh a little fussy cut there all right and I think that's it for the kit so I want to show you some of the pages from the kit itself because they're really pretty they're super pretty and think of all the things you can do with them even just in a regular size journal just fold these pages up and you have a journal already made for you I have found if I print it on my regular paper and then glue on the back, it gives the paper a little more oomph to it. Or if you don't want to do that, you can use your coffee dyed or tea dyed paper or whatever too. That's kind of fun. So here are some of the pages. I'll just sort of go through those. Look at, look at that. Is that amazing? I just there's that butterfly that I fussy cut so so pretty oh I think I printed two of those look at this butterfly oh I'm sorry <laughs> bumblebee <laughs> butterfly all right you guys it's getting late right you know Michelle doesn't do evening very well dragonfly and then you can see like, look at this beautiful butterfly. Just, it's beautiful paper. Beautiful, beautiful paper. Very sweet. This butterfly is beautiful. I love that. I like it all. I mean, it's really, really pretty. Very pretty kit. And then there's journal cards. Okay, journal cards and then this is the full size of the little tiny envelope I created and I just shrunk these down and then tags and more tags more neutral and then these are the little pockets again I shrunk that down to create that pocket and then some more little pockets so that's the scoop. Isn't that fun? Super, super fun. So again, the digital kit I used is from Junk Journal Inspirations on Etsy, and it is called her Wings and Blooms digital kit. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a great night. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye.